Zip2, a California company that provides online access to information about cities around the country. Everything from you know, where you know, to eat I mean, to how to get around. Sort of, you imagine the possibilities, but... The company's chief engineer and founder like is 27-year-old Elon Musk. And how old were you when you started this company or what became this company? 23. <laughs> it's a classic Silicon Valley story. Before there was the vintage Jaguar, the six-figure salary, the cute dog, and the nice house to share with the pretty girlfriend, there was the $200 a month office with the leaky roof. It was just the, the nastiest place you can imagine. And you lived in it too? And, and I lived in it too and showered at the YMCA. Take us back to when you really started all of this. Well, that was the summer of 95. I had no money whatsoever. Uh, I was working, uh, doing research in Silicon Valley on a completely different subject and trying to start this company at the same time. And when it came time to decide, do I want to do graduate studies or do I want to start this company, and I decided to start the company, I had no money. As a graduate student, I would, re would have received a scholarship and a stipend and so forth. Um, in starting the company, I had nothing. I had no income source. So we, uh, we found that um, a, an office was actually cheaper than an apartment in Silicon Valley. So we got this dinky little office that had a leaky roof. Uh, it was just the, the nastiest place you can imagine. And you lived in it too? And, and I lived in it too and showered at the YMCA. Um, this, this lasted for about uh, three or four months. And the reason we chose this, this office, in addition to it being really cheap, was that there was an internet service provider on the, flo in, on, on the floor below. So we were able to get really cheap internet access by drilling a hole in the floor and connecting to their server directly. Um, you know, this industry is so young, and we don't really know where it's going. But what do you see as the future of the internet? I think the internet is the, the superset of all media. It, it is the, it, it, it is the, the be-all and, and end-all of, of, of media. Uh, one will see print, uh, broadcast arguably, uh, radio, essentially all media folding into the internet. And what the internet amounts to is it, it's, it's the first uh, uh, two-way communication medium that, that, is, that is intelligent. It allows consumers to choose what they want to see, when they want to see it, um, and whether that be radio, whether that be print, whether that be uh, television, uh, broadcast, I think it's going to revolutionize uh, all traditional media. Now Musk has his own computer command center, and his business is thriving. To his delight, Microsoft has tried and so far failed to get a hold in Zip2's market. You always keep an eye on them, though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And everyone in Silicon Valley is keeping an eye on the battleground a continent away at the federal courthouse in Washington. It's here where it will be decided whether Microsoft and its founder, Bill Gates, I don't remember sending it. are our generation's yeah. equivalent of John D. Rockefeller and his Standard Oil the monopoly the government broke up in a landmark case that really started antitrust enforcement at the dawn of the century. Microsoft should not be allowed to own the, the, the browser market. If they do that, then they will, they will own the gateway to the Internet for every consumer, and, and that is almost certainly likely to result in um, a less valuable experience for the consumer. We certainly hope to increase the... There are so many scenarios of how the Microsoft case could conclude that none of the experts will predict an outcome. And many in the scrappy computer industry that prides itself on rewarding innovation say they haven't chosen sides in the U.S. versus Microsoft battle. In the world of Bill Gates, Peter Doherty, T.J. Rogers, and young Elon Musk, there is a brooding anxiety over the landmark trial that will map out the rules of the road to the Internet.